hand tossed and turned in her bed, unable to get to sleep. Her father and mother would always tell her a story at bedtime, but Gohan had caught a cold, and Fidel was out of town, so neither one was able to spin her a yarn tonight. Slipping out of her room, Pan walked down the hall before arriving at Goku's door. She knocked her fist against it heavily and waited for the doors to open. Us, Penny! Goku let out a sleepy yawn. He was often the first one to awake in the morning, but also among the first to fall asleep at night. I need a bedtime story, Pan blurted out, and Goku stared back at her, confused for a moment. Folding his arms, Goku gave this request a thought. He was no storyteller. It certainly wasn't his area of expertise. Pan looked up at him insistently. Please, I can't get to sleep without it. Okay. Goku's face brightened up and he followed her back to her room. He didn't have the slightest idea of what kind of story he would come up with, but there was nothing wrong with winging it. 